2020 is challenging. Coronavirus, racial injustice, presidential politics, economic strife, you know, then the list can go on and on and on. You know, it, it's just so much happening right now. Cr issues with crime, you know, just businesses shutting down, you know, it's, it's a whole bunch of stuff happening. And with that comes a lot of division, comes a lot of people going into their corners, you know, almost a survival of the fittest mentality. You know, you got yours, I, I you know, I got to go get mine, you know, it's just, it's, it's crazy. I, I, like I said, I don't know how to crystallize it and put it. it it's a situation where we, we become more divided and that comes when people close off their minds and they don't want to see things from some a perspective that's not their own. When we look at people as if they were us and if we were them, we begin to see things and humanize folks. And a lot of times we dehumanize each other or we look at each other as different and say those problems exist over there with those people. But I, I question, what if we didn't do that? What if we actually saw people for who they are, for the human experience? What if we saw people for the struggles and say we're one and the same? I'm not saying we're going to have a kumbaya moment. We're going to sit around holding hands and everything's going to be all good. But there's so many experiences that are common to mankind, that are common to you know, men and women of different orientations, backgrounds, socioeconomic or gender conforming and non-conforming, you know, uh, ways that are relevant to us. So I challenge folks, think with an open mind. You just might be surprised.